class 13, week 3, for 6A. Good morning, kids. Our class today is going to be about how to write a letter. The purpose of writing a letter is to have contact with someone. Nowadays, not only function writing in a paper. Nowadays, we write a lot emails, but it's the same only in a device. What does a letter include? Well, first of all, you have to include Greek words that you want to express to a person. But not only that, we have to check that we have to cover main parts. Let's go one by one. The first one is the heading. What is the heading? The heading in which you are going to include the address and the date. That's important. Is where the letter is going to be sent and the date is important because you know when you send the letter and the person knows exactly when it's going to be received and from which day it was sent. The second one is the greeting. Greeting is written on the text of the letter but it includes the phrase that you start your letter. It can be dear mom, dear grandpa, dear friend, um, or it can be to a person, dear teacher, dear Mr. Robinson, or dear Mrs. Sams, whichever. Okay. Then we have the body of the letter. What is that? Is the text of the letter. What you are going to write in your letter, what information, what stories about your life, about um, a, a business, sometimes there are cards or letters for business, or sometimes um, to your best friend, uh, to your family, or whatever. Then we have the closing. The closing is when you said bye-bye to your friend, so we can use the words with love, your friend, regards, or see you soon. Remember that regard means in Spanish, saludos. Okay? And when we write with love, not only refers to a couple or someone you love as a man or a woman. It re in Spanish, it means con cariño. Okay? And then you have your signature. The signature is that the place where you write your name. Mm -hmm. You can write uh, Lino, you can write Valentina, or your dear friend Loli, or Chari, or whatever. Okay, so that is the principal and the main parts of the letter. Knowing these uh, parts of the letter, it will be easier that you can write the letter. So. We are going to check this example. At the top, I only wrote here the date, the heading, if that is a real name. Okay. Sometimes it's not necessary to write the address. For example, if you are sending an email, you only write the date. If you are going to send your letter by mail, by post, it is very important that you write the address. Mm -hmm. For example, I don't know, 486 Book Hall Road, Cleveland, Ohio, a 4404, and then the date. Mm -hmm. So that will be. Then we have the greeting. The greeting here says, Dear Sarah. Then we have the body. Let's go to read this letter. How are you? I hope you are having fun in school. Have you made any new friend? I have made lots of friends at school. I am playing football this year. Are you playing any sports? I hope that you will write back soon. I miss you. That is the body. The body can be more than one paragraph. Okay, It doesn't have a minimum of paragraphs. You can extend or you can make it short or whatever, okay, depending on the body and the things that you are going to write about. Then we have the closing. In the closing, you said 
your friend uh, with love regards uh, yours uh, sincerely or sincerely yours or yours truly or whichever and then we have the signature in this case we have Howie Smith so as you see they are the principal parts in this example mm -hmm. so now I'm going to read you a letter but you are going to select in each of the parts of the letter that I am going to read the principal parts of this letter okay and then I'm going to give you a example of a Gmail mm -hmm, or a email let's see this first one it says September 14 2015 dear grandma and grandpa I miss you both a lot I really enjoy staying with you for two weeks and I liked working on the farm my parents were happy to have some free time but they miss me too I love to be out of the city because I get tired of all the noise and people it was so much fun to get to know all the animals the new calves are so cute I can't wait to see them again when are you going to visit us you can sleep in my room and I will sleep in the living room mom will make lasagna and you can go for a ride in that new car I really want to see you soon lots of love Nancy so in this uh, letter you are going to establish in your notebook what is the heading what is the greeting what are the parts of the body of the letter the closing and the signature now the next one is an example of a email that is to lisa at gmail.com from mara at gmail.com subject ipal dear lisa my sister and i found your name and email on the global friends list i had been looking for an ipal in new zealand for a new for sorry for a few months now my name is mara i live in vancouver canada i have never been to new zealand my father and sister have been there a few times they say it is beautiful i want to go there one day maybe i could visit you please tell me about yourself do you have brothers and sisters what do you like to do what grade are you in i look forward to hearing from you soon your ipal mara now in this email the word ipal please look it up in the dictionary which is very common to use nowadays in writings and then following these examples you can write also an email mm -hmm. so it's very easy to follow the rules letter as a normal way and an email as you see both examples contain the same things okay kids after you have checked the video you are going to do as homework first write a letter to your friend and as soon as you finish you are going to work in your page 105 i hope that you have learned how to write a letter see you in our video class bye